Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes YouTube channel. You are looking with me on 2007 Dodge Sprinter 2500 CRD. This one is equipped with OM642 3 liter turbo diesel engine and it has approximately 210,000 miles. This vehicle is new to me, I have recently purchased it, never really driven anywhere much because I'm busy with my Toyota shop. And as you will expect, I had the smell of the diesel fumes, diesel exhaust in the cabin. And when I removed the covers from the engine on the number 5 cylinder, I have also discovered Black Death. By some miracle, with a lot of patience. Because this side, it's not easy like this one. One, two, three. Look how easy it is to work here. You can remove this. You can remove that. You can make a lot of space on this side. But the driver's side way more difficult due to this brake booster that's in the way so if you look with me and I will put the light there here we are four five is out and six so as I said with some miracle I got it out it took a days of soaking first removing physical removing of the black death chunks of it i recommend everybody just get it out first keep vacuuming and prying it out because that gunk which you will get after dissolving it in this carb cleaner for example that gunk it's very annoying and you will end up using a lot of shop towels to clean and clean and clean. As I said, by some miracle, I was able to get this injector out without damaging it. And now it's basically time to install it. So you might be in the same situation. You are right now in the same position. You will go ahead and buy another new copper seal. I wish you can see how this one is deformed. It's in really bad shape. So that obviously has to be replaced. You will also replace the stretch bolt. You know that, correct? The stretch bolt, it's right here. They are made to stretch, so you cannot reuse them no matter how you will clean them, it doesn't matter. And now you want to put it all back in the engine. Well, well, before you will be putting it back correctly, you have to clean the seat for that injector where that new copper washer will be touching the block being squished by that injector. That has to be perfectly clean. And of course, when I remove that and start cleaning it, there you could see a lot of imperfections down there. I realized that I would like to show you how bad it was too late. I start reaming, cleaning mine. Hopefully through that mirror. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's getting <clears throat> really nice and clean. And I'm almost done with this one step. I don't think you saw much in that mirror. So I brought this scope. It's a Milwaukee, it's a basic one. But I keep using this, I keep using the reamer. And I don't want to cut too much into it, so I'm very careful. It's hard to operate <laughs> all of this and show it to you, but I'm trying my best, you see? It's getting cleaner. That was really nasty, that seat, before I started. And what is the tool? You need a reamer. You cannot just use some steel brushes that are good for cleaning the tube. Here you can see it probably. 
yeah you see that so that's a nice steel brush with the handle it actually fits there but you need to set up your reamer you need to make that seat perfect for that new copper o-ring to be seated properly this is what i have bought it was very affordable from the ebay and of course you have to have very low expectations or none how you can expect something from china coming from china it's a basically copy of some professional set which i don't need because i'm not planning on opening the commercial shop for repairing these engines or diesel engines this is that one time, two times, three times, five times, maybe a lifetime investment. And don't expect that this is super high end um, set or super high end tools. So if you buy this of Amazon or of the eBay, you will open this, <laughs> you will be most likely going back to the Google trying to figure out what you're supposed to use for your OM642 engine. As you can see, some of the reamers are conical, some of them are flat, they have a flat top, but they are all different sizes. Now to explain it a little bit, this area has a one size, it's all in millimeters. So this is either 15, this one will be 15 and a half, even some of them will be 17 or 19. And then is also the area what the cutter has for diameter. How much in diameter large is the cutter? This is the 15 and that's not large enough for my engine. This engine I'm using, this is a 19, this part, and this is the 17. Trying on the previous neighbor's 2007 Sprinter, which I just finished a few days ago for him. Trying on that and trying on mine, I figured out that the combination 19 here and 17 here with the flat cutting top is the correct one. So you have this handle and you just screw here with this little hex. You just attach it right here, you see it? And you can, you keep changing them. You can use this handle on one, two, three, and maybe four, five, six, you have no chance. That's unusable. So you have to figure out how to work with this on this engine. It's a challenge because there's not enough space. Here you can maybe see the writing on it. It's a 17 times 19 millimeters. So, so far it's good. The other sprinter is perfectly. The injector got seated correctly. Also, if you don't trust me, well, when you will pull your injector out, you can get some common sense measurements. The copper washer, it's 15 millimeters in the size, in the size as a diameter, but you need obviously more than 15 millimeters. You cannot just cut it there, 15 millimeters, and hope it will get seated correctly. No, you need on each side that one millimeter more, which makes it 17. So the cutting part is 17 diameter and the 19 is, I didn't say that, the 19 is to keep it in that tube nicely in, in the center. So it's not wiggling there and back and it's cutting like this, right? The top, the 19, it's holding it nicely centered. Also the bottom sticking out, it's holding it centered. So I want to just show you what you could consider buying for OM642 turbo diesel engine.
I already filmed on this channel how to remove diesel injector which is stuck in that horror of the Black Death. I will be obviously filming how to install it also later on this channel. It won't be this injector but I will be most likely redoing all of them to prevent this from happening in the future. I have all the stretch bolts and copper washers, I have the ceramic grease, I have everything ready here. So I want to keep this printer for a while, so I will be taking good care of that baby. So please make sure you are subscribed because I will keep filming on this channel this diesel tech for you. Thank you for watching and have a great day my friend.